My name is Kyla Pere. I'm the education consultant for presentation products, and I'm going to show you how to use pull tabs and grouping within Smart Notebook software. First, I want to show you where the pull tabs are located. If you're familiar with notebook software, then you're aware of your side tabs. Up at the top, the very first one is your page sorter tab. The next one is your gallery tab, your attachments tab, properties tab, and the last one is your response tab. Pull tabs are located within the gallery tab. If you click on the lesson activity toolkit folder and then the graphics folder, the pull tabs is the last one within the graphics folder. You have two separate types of pull tabs. You have pictures and you have interactive multimedia. You can click on either one of the blue tabs and these will open up for you. We're going to use the pictures and I'm going to use the very first one. To get this onto the work area, just simply double click or drag and drop. Once it's on the work area, you'll notice a blue marquee around it. You'll also notice three handles. The next step is to uh, write the word directions instead of the word pull on the tab. To do this, we have to ungroup it first. So go to the drop down arrow, go to grouping, and select ungroup. This separates the word pull from the tab. The next thing we're going to do is write the word directions onto the work area. To do this, just simply start typing directions. Next, we're going to use our floating font toolbar to edit this a bit. So I'm going to highlight the word directions. I'm going to change the size. I'm also going to center it. I'm going to use the circles on the side to make it smaller. If you lose it, like I just did, just double click and you can get your, um, your font toolbar back. Again, make it a little bit smaller. And I'm also going to change the color to white. When you're through, you can simply click on the X to close. Grab the word directions and move it on top of your pull tab. The next thing you want to do is group these two objects together. To do that, just simply drag and drop over both. Go to either drop down arrow and then go back to grouping and select group. And this groups these two objects together. We can now click on the word pull and delete it off the page. The next step is to type your directions onto the page and then group it with the directions tab. So we're going to start typing again, and this time with our directions. Press on each frog to reveal the life cycle stages. Again, we're going to use our floating font toolbar to edit this. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. I'm also going to change the size to 36 and use the circles make it a little bit longer so that it's all on one line. I'm going to center it and I'm going to keep it blue so that it stands out. We can touch it, move, and you can see that the directions tab and the actual directions are two separate objects. So we need to group these two items together. To do that, just simply drag and drop over both. Go to the drop down arrow, select grouping, and group. Now it's one object that you can pull off the page and then pull back on when you're ready to show the directions. A good example of how to use this would be on a lesson page like this one, the life cycle of a frog. You have a lot of things, a lot of content on this page, so it's very easy to have a directions tab that you can pull on and off. Have your students read the directions. When you're ready to complete the activity, pull it back off and then follow directions. That's all the time that I have for today. If you have any questions or if you would like to contact us, you can send me an email at kparay at pproducts.com. You can give us a call at 212-736-6350 or you can visit us online at presentationproducts.com.